In this tutorial, we're going to talk about target sets, manipulating targets, and all of the settings that go along with target creation. In order to do that, we're going to navigate to the workspace editor by clicking the pencil icon in the top right hand corner of the software. And then once we're in the workspace editor, you'll see I already have three screens arranged here. And we need to make sure that we're in the target menu. So in the top right corner, we're going to select targets here. That's going to open up all of our target options right here underneath that option. Target sets can be composed of one or more targets per target set. So right off the bat, if you want to create more target sets, then you can click on this drop down here and select create new target set. That's going to create a second target set. We don't have any targets in these target sets yet, but we have multiple target sets available for us anyway. If you don't want that second target set, then you can click the trash can icon there and that's going to delete the target set and leave us with just that one left. Underneath that option, you can name your target set. So in my setup here, I'm simulating two side screens and one triple wide center screen. So perhaps here I could name my target set simply center and that's going to rename it here as center. And then below that, you've got the advanced options for your target set. And if you look at your advanced options, that's going to allow you to change the image that shows up when we actually add a target to one of these screens. So we'll revisit this here in just a second after we've actually added a target. Obviously the next step would be adding this target. There's a couple different ways that you can go about adding targets and a couple different types of targets that you can add to your screens. The four different types of targets that you can add are rectangular targets, elliptical targets, you can do a custom target with a pin tool where you click and create a Bezier path for a target. And your fourth option is to import an image. The image that you import will be read by PVP. It will look at the alpha layer and it will create a target based off of that alpha layer of that image. So while we do suggest that you use PNGs with alpha for that option, you can import a vast array of different image files. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add one target here to the center screen. You can either click the rectangle button here and that's gonna add that rectangular target full screen here, or you can right click on the screen that you'd like to add the target to and select add target for screen one. So as soon as I do that, that's gonna add my target here. You're gonna see that it's called target one. It's, it's got the resolution of 3840 by 720 for my triple wide center screen. And then it's got the aspect ratio there as well. You'll notice here on the right hand side that I now have one target listed in my target list here. Again, a target set can comprise of multiple targets in one set, or it can just be one target per set. So for this one, we'll just go ahead and create one target that's just going to be the center screen. I could create another target and then just add my side screens in here. So if I do this, I now have two targets in the same target set, and I can call this target set sides. So now, if I look at this drop down menu again, you'll see I have one target set called center, which is just the center screen, and another target set called sides, which includes both side screens at the same time. However, you can get very creative with targets and do a lot more than simply just this. If we create another target set here, then I can add a target to this screen, but say perhaps I don't want everything that I show on this screen to be triple wide. Perhaps I wanna limit something to actually play back 16 by nine on this triple wide screen. Well, you can do that by manipulating the properties of this target to make sure that you're locked to that proper aspect ratio for the 16 by nine playback. So you'll see down here under target properties, you have the ability to name the targets. So that might be useful if you had multiple targets per target set, then you could name this target and we're gonna call this 16 by nine. And you'll see as soon as I do that, that it changes the name of the target to the name that I typed in over here. You can also change the position by typing in new X and Y values or using the arrows there to change those positions. You can also just simply click and drag the target and that will change the position as well. And you'll notice those numbers changing in the position fields. Below that is the size. We're gonna change that in just a minute here so that we can create our new target. But you can obviously type numbers into the field here. You can use the arrows to change that or you can grab the handles on the side of the target and actually just click and drag and that's going to also change the size of that target as well. So like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna go ahead and just type in 1280 right here and that's gonna make one 1280 by 720 target. And then we're gonna reposition it just by dragging it and we're gonna put it right here in the center of our triple wide screen. 
So now, even though my screen is a triple wide screen, I've created one target that's just going to play back in a 16 by nine aspect ratio right in the middle of my screen. And I can make sure that that information stays there and I can make sure that that stays 16 by nine by clicking the box next to locked for the aspect ratio, which will make sure that it stays in the proper aspect ratio that I want. You can also rotate targets if you have a vertical screen or if you need to rotate targets to put them at an angle on the screen. You can do that by clicking and dragging the wheel or entering a number into the field to the right. You can also feather a target if you select this. It's going to feather the edges of the target. You can see in there that we've lost those hard edges and now it just kind of fades into nothingness there. And you can click and drag there or enter numbers into that field as well. And the last option down here under the adjust button is the custom scale editor. So once you've clicked on the adjust button, it opens up the custom scale editor. For this feature, there may be an instance where you want to have a target that automatically crops an image or adjusts it to a different aspect ratio than what the target itself has. And this is why you would use the custom scale editor to achieve this result. One way to access this feature is to click on the adjust button which will open up the custom scale editor window. The other option is you can double click on your target, which will also open the window as well. To visually adjust this custom scale, you can click and drag on one of the black bounding boxes at the edges of the target. And remember that you can only drag the boxes away from the target. You cannot make them smaller than the target itself. You can also type in custom numbers or use the arrow buttons to manually adjust the position here in the custom scale editor. So that will create one target that will play back 16 by 9 content in the middle of the screen. However, you can also add multiple targets to the same screen. So we could create a new target set and add multiple rectangular targets to the same screen. Doing this will allow us to play the same piece of media back to multiple locations at the same time. So now we have two targets on this screen. And if we were to play media back to this, it's going to play the same piece of media back to both targets at the same time. What does this look like in the rest of the program? Well, if we close out of the workspace editor by clicking the pencil icon at the top right corner, we'll be back here in the main window of the program. We'll add a couple different layers here so that we have three different layer strips. And then if you look at where it says target set, you can click on that option and you'll see all of the targets that you've created. You can then assign these target sets to the individual layers here so that whatever media you trigger to those layers will play back in the selected target set that you have chosen. And that's it for target creation and manipulation of all of those settings. For more information about PVP and to view more tutorials, go to renewedvision.com.